We are live. Hello, my name is Veronica Brockwell and welcome to VTalks. VTalks, and this is our pilot show for V Media Consultancy. V Media is a marketing and talent management company. And the reason for the show is that I wanted to introduce you to some of our clients, as well as some marketing and entertainment experts in the industry. So um, this is our first night. Hopefully everybody is tuning in and um, Reception is good, but I'm gonna go ahead and introduce my very wonderful guest tonight. He is a very dear friend of mine and a client of eMedia's. His name is Reese Wynn Davies, and he is here live from Holland. And hello, Reese, how are you? Hi, Veronica, how are you? So, what time is it there? Uh, uh, it's one, our... one, one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> You must really love us here to be here with us so late. <laughs> oh, of course, I wouldn't uh, hesitate. <laughs> well, I'm really, really happy to have you here. Um, Thank you. Reese, Reese, and I had big plans uh, for 2020. Like everybody else, uh, we had a we had a world tour <laughs> yes, and a U.S. Did. tour specifically. And because of COVID, we were not able to do that unfortunately, but that's okay because we're all in the same boat and we want everybody safe and uh, maybe 2021. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, for sure. <laughs> um, so, um, Reese, uh, what's the uh, temperature there and what is it like in Holland right now? <laughs> well, yeah, it's been beautiful actually up until the uh, last couple of days. Uh, I think autumn's finally starting to kick in and the, the wet rain and the wind is starting to come. Uh, but bef before that, we were getting into temperatures of 30. So wow. I think they, they even had one of the hottest days, I think the fourth hottest day in history for a September uh, right. only, only about two weeks ago. So it's been amazing uh, up until now, you know. <laughs> wow, yeah. But, so uh, um, tell me about your psychic medium. Yes. And I want you to share with the audience exactly what does that mean? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, it's two disciplines, really. The psychism is thoughts, feelings, emotions, past, present, and future. So if someone came to me... Uh, past, present, and future, and guide them. And then um, with a mediumship... Uh, is the other discipline, and that is actually uh, uh, the influence of uh, spirit from the spirit world. Uh, so it's mind-to-mind -mind communication. So um, I'm able to uh, be influenced in my mind and share those thoughts in my mind on, on behalf of the spirit communicator to somebody else. So they're not speaking through me directly. The, um, I'm sharing their thoughts uh, feelings and emotions and expressing that on behalf of them. Um, so uh, from spirit to spirit, uh, through spirit to, to another person. So um, uh, they're two different, completely different things. But I can, I'm lucky to do both. So um, I offer that to my clients when they come and see me if they want that. So what was it? that made you realize that you had this gift and that you could communicate with spirit? Yeah, another fabulous question. I guess it goes back to, well, I ignored it through my most of my younger years or dismissed it, um, but it wasn't until my uh, mid to late 30s where um, I had an experience from my own relative who uh, told me about a school in England and I... Uh, Googled it, which was amazing because at the time they had told me to Google it and, and they weren't alive during when Google was invented. And then so I Googled it and it was true. So I got on a plane and went uh, and it's a school called the Arthur Finley College. It's over 200 years old and it's metaphysics and afterlife studies. And, uh, and I had a moment there where I had spirit influence me and uh, had an experience with another student where we uh, communicated, uh, I communicated this person's loved one to them, and 
they were totally moved and uh, believed 100% that I had their father and it was such an exhilarating feeling. Uh, I never forgot it and uh, I felt alive and exhilarated and I thought, wow, this makes me feel amazing and um, if, what if I could do this for a living and learn how to do it better and I didn't know you could learn to do it um, and be better over time and uh, I guess through that um, it changed my life. I thought I decided to do it for a living and never look back. <laughs> I... So, so Reese, I'm when somebody passes on or when someone dies, I think people want to know what what happens. You know, where where do we go? You know, I'm I'm from the Christian faith. You know, so I've been taught. You know. You, you go to heaven, right? Yeah, yeah. So so in your opinion, what happens? Yeah, it's to, another brilliant question. In a, in a, in a scientific way, because I know I know that, that you look at this in a scientific way. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, you know, I'm still um, uh, open to learn, and, and uh, I guess the comprehension of that is infinite, and I think we'll always be learning more about it. Mm. But... Um, I believe we're a natural planning body. Um, so I think we have this amazing experience when we go to sleep at night. Um, our astral planning body, which is gas, vapor, atoms and molecules, uh, can leave our physical form and uh, leave the, the physical body and be in the ether, which is everything outside of the physical body all around us, so the universe included. And... Um, uh, these uh, astral planning body bl blends in the minds and thoughts of other uh, of other spirit people who are one dimensional, um, one hundred percent intelligence. We're in a physical body where uh, I guess ten percent intelligent and three dimensional. So we're very distorted and physically grounded. Where astral planning body is one dimensional and very free, and can go through matter and be anywhere in the universe with thought and can be 100% intelligence. So uh, put it simply, some of your thoughts aren't yours. They're the influence of uh, other people to, uh, in spirit as well. And um, But at night, this happens most to all of us. We have this experience temporarily. But I guess imagine when you do die and you physically, your physical form dissipates. Imagine you're in a permanent dream and you can go anywhere uh, through the universe, through matter, as one dimensional gas, vapor, atoms and molecules and a consciousness of thought or energy. And this consciousness can uh, telepathically communicate with, uh, with us um, if we learn to control the mind uh, and learn to distinguish our thoughts from their thoughts. Um, so I believe the, the death state and to some degree is very similar to the uh, dream state um, and uh, but I'm still curious and ex and exploring that as I go along. <laughs> well, I've I've spent a lot of time with you over the years, and I have personally experienced <laughs> some things that definitely, uh, you know, made me realize that 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 things are happening all around us. Um, uh, I have a story. One time. Uh, I had I had picked Reese up from the airport and we were in my kitchen and the lights started blinking. Do you remember that? In yes. uh, Center Island? Yes. And they were blinking and you were talking to them and they were answering you. And yes. I thought, wow, you know, <laughs> I'm trying not to get freaked out here, but you know, it was it was definitely uh something uh, somewhat of an experience for sure that 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 I'll never forget, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And, and another great. and another time when you were in my barn, remember you blew out all my lights? And you said, I did not do that. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know. Yeah. Um, for physical phenomena to happen like that, it often requires the presence of a medium. Um, uh, it's um, not necessarily that we are doing that as mediums, but it's definitely the influence of spirit on a, on a physical nature. Yeah. And I, you know, in the beginning, I, I didn't know there's various forms of, of mediumship and there's, there's physical, physical phenomena and there's mental phenomena. And in the physical phenomena, there's many forms of that, such as telekinetics, uh, levitation in the ports, uh, percussion where they make noise or, or communicate, 
um, through percussion. Um, uh, a ports is one of my favorite. I've had um, things appear. Um, even I was in a seance once where we had um, a picture of Lincoln on the wall. Um, and uh, in the seance, we had six coins with Lincoln on them just fall onto the table dating before 1969. And um, it was very profound because we everyone saw that it came from thin air. <laughs> So oh, no, I, I, I don't. I don't want you raining money on me like that. <laughs> that would, yeah, that would, bills, yeah I don't. I don't know. What was the name of that college again? So the Arthur, the Arthur Finley College. Uh, but yeah. uh, you know, uh, they they are, um, are a well established uh, school. They're part of the SNU, the Spiritual National Union. They have um, brilliant teachers, um, and people from around the world go there to to learn about it. Um, and it's a safe environment, and um, uh, but they do also study the physical and the mental form of of mediumship. Yes, right. Um, one of the other things that we have done here um, is uh, orb chasing. So uh, you, I, I know several of my friends are probably watching and remember remember doing this uh, here at Cedar Rock Farm. Uh, can you explain to me? what an orb is yep and we see them in you can actually i've actually seen them with the naked eye but you definitely catch them in photographs right like for sure okay. absolutely i'm gonna let you you know v talks the reason they we call it v talks i like to talk but i need to listen okay you explain it <laughs> well same thing it's part of the f physical phenomena um, uh, and it's a, a form of physical uh, mediumship, and that's, you know, spirit photography. And uh, orbs, in, in, uh, from my opinion and experience, um, uh, the energy I was explaining to you before, astral planning body, uh, individual or collective, um, um, that uh, are caught or make themselves present on uh, film or ref refracted light, or um, in uh, red light, um, and they can be uh, stationary or, or a move. Sometimes they appear like streaks or rods on photographs or, or round or, or circular. And, and if you enlarge them or, uh, and go into detail and, and examine them, you can actually see the images of faces and even animals in them, uh, which I think is incredible. You know, I, I guess that was part of my journey in the beginning of wanting proof. And when I... Um, started seeing physical proof for myself, I started to question, well, what is that? You know, I want to know more because, you know, past scientist, I was like, I need to know what this is. And um, and I'm still always curious and always wanting to know more about it. Um, uh, I, I don't think we'll ever stop learning, really. It's uh, it's an amazing thing. But it, it made me feel like, well, maybe we don't die and maybe there is... Uh, the potential uh, and uh, understanding that we simply change form and we change from one form of energy to another and that, uh, is, and that appears in photography. Um, uh, there's definitely, um, in my experience, I've had uh, seen people's faces in human-like form and even people with me who've seen their own relatives in pictures uh, in events or, thing, or activities that we've... I've been present in, so it's been quite remarkable. Yeah, I, I, I've seen, I've seen images in orbs myself, and you know, it's, it's really quite unbelievable some of the things that you know you've exposed me to. You know. Yes. Um. So, you have told me in the past that everybody has the ability to speak to. Uh, spirit energy can you tell me a little bit about that yeah um you know i i think in the past there's always been this word the gift you know um and i have to be honest yeah some people are more in, have an inclination to to exceed or excel faster or quicker than other people but I think it comes down to many things, um, their mindfulness, um, their diet even, um, 
uh, their understanding of, of spiritualness, um, their, their empathy and sensitivity to uh, feelings um, um, and environment and things like that around them, um, their understanding and comprehension of, of uh, beyond their um, beyond their own self. Um, uh, you know, um, some people are exposed to this uh, family generations of five generations of being mediums and it's an, something that's pro naturally accepted or in their family and it's provoked and encouraged and so their their progression is faster than others. Um, and then there's some that have, you know, don't start doing this until they're, you know, later in life, even 60 plus, where they feel like they've always questioned or doubted it in the past. It's very strong in particular with children um, are between normally five to eight years of age. It's very strong there. Um, and unfortunately, you know, if they believe in the boogeyman or, you know, um, their uh, lifestyle or the, the parenting there uh, prevents that from having comprehension or understanding, then it can be, you know, uh, lost uh, to ABCD and um, Ken and Barbie instead of imagination and um, practicing per um, perceptiveness and, uh, and 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 expressing what they see in their mind um, without judgment. So there's that factor as well. But in general, um, I if I saw you ten years ago and said I'd be doing mediumship, I would have said never. So you know, yeah. uh, it's something that I've learned. And yes, I've progressed and been quite fast to, to maybe some people who've been doing it for longer or even 30 years longer. Right. Uh, and every, everyone's different. That's the thing with this. Everyone perceives and feels and understands spirit differently and it's um, everyone's journey is totally an individualistic. Um, but I will say this, uh, everyone has a blueprint. So everything you've experienced, what you know, seen and touched culturally, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, everything you've been exposed to is like a blueprint and that's what spirit use when you decide to be a medium you only know what you know and that's what they'll work with um, I found even in my own development in the beginning I felt like I was always being influenced by my own family when I'm trying to talk to someone else about their own family and general in a general scenario the similarities of personality and physical um, characteristics and mannerisms and stuff matched another person even down to the name sometimes wow. and then I had to learn about connecting to other types of people character profession how they died um, different cultures I had to learn and expand by practicing and learning and getting better so yes you can do it yes anyone can learn to do it but it takes practice and and the rest of your life to master like you have to be the kung fu of mediumship like the kung fu of karate <sighs> the kung fu of football and takes practice. Right, mm. exactly. Um, <laughs> I guess. So this is actually a good segue because if you do want to learn how to connect with loved ones or learn how to be a bit more spiritual, Reese has written a book and I'm going to show you here. And it is right here. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going across the screen. Um, how to talk to the dead in 10 easy steps. Um, Reese, I'm, I can't even tell you how proud I am of you. Oh, that this book you. is here. Yeah, uh, this has been a journey and you wanted it perfect. And it is. It's brilliant. And oh, I want you. you to talk a little bit about it, uh, what we yeah. can expect to read in this book. And go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Yeah, well, yeah, this is an amazing um, uh, journey. It uh, took about five years and um, lots of toing and froing, but it's really honored to work with this with my partner, Breeza. Um, she's been um, a great support to me over the, the time to get this together. Um, in terms of editing and, um, and brainstorming, you know, so uh, I couldn't have done it without her. But this book has basically got 10 steps and it follows, I guess, my journey uh, and how I uh, be, was able to structure becoming a medium. Uh, so there's steps, uh, 10 simple steps, but it's with these steps and pra ongoing practice that you master it. So um, this book is about 
a how to do book on how to learn to be a psychic medium. And it's a progressional step by step process. Um, and ultimately, at the end, you've got all the tools there to go forward, um, to be able to connect to someone else's loved one. Generally, it's much easier to do it for somebody else's loved one first. And once you've um, mastered it, then you're uh, without judgment are able to even decipher your own loved ones and understand their communication with you as well. Uh, it's a really br brilliant book. It talks about meditation and attunement to spirit. Um, um, I guess how to sit in the, uh, to make that connection come uh, closer, how to perceive spirit around you, how to profile a, a, a spirit person with a, a four step uh, structure called the, I call it the four P's. Um, uh, which is a great structure on how to profile a person who's passed um, in terms of their physicality, their personality, uh, the purpose for why they come to communicate in the first place. And what's missing a lot in mediumship, mediumship at the moment, well, in modern mediumship anyway, um, what's happened since they've died? Because um, I think the ultimate goal of a, of a, a medium is to is to make people feel like their loved ones aren't gone, that the soul is eternal and we don't die. And it's that evidence, like what's happened since I've died, that they know that if you can share that with someone in a room or in a private reading, it's a, it's a very healing and um, an amazing experience, really. It's, um, uh, there's, no, there's, no, there's no way to describe it. It's um, an incredible feeling to give that and share that with another person. And from spirit as well, um, and then learning all, how to present this information and how to present it and be professional in doing it as well. So it's a really all-inclusive book. Um, I'm very proud of it. Well, you should be. It's yeah, it's incredible, book. and it's going to help a lot of people. Thank you. Um, I think this is probably a really good time. I think if we had a, we should maybe have a trivia question and give yeah. away a book. Yeah, wanna, love that. You wanna you wanna give that give that a twirl? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. all right. Okay. So um if you are watching, I want you to go to the comments section. I'm gonna ask a question in regard to mediumship. And the first person to answer it correctly is going to win this book from Reese Wynn Davies. Uh so let's see question one how about this what are the hydesville wrappings google is your friend <laughs> if you don't know the answer go to google <laughs> so reese while we're waiting for an answer why don't you tell us a little bit about your studio there, Sacred Tree Studio, where you are. I, I know people want to see the building. I know they want a tour of it. It's beautiful. And I think yeah. there's a lot of energy in there, right? Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a, an amazing space. Um, uh, it used to be the Naturalist Museum of the Netherlands. Uh -huh. um, it's part of that uh, Naturalist Museum of, of, of the Netherlands now still, but it's um, partially kept as a, a, as a, as a depot. So uh, half the building is um, for storing, uh, um, you know, special artifacts that have come from all around the world over many, many years and stuff, um, very special artifacts. And, um, uh, and the other half of the building is, is leased out to uh, other commercial businesses. And we're just so lucky to have this amazing space. I don't know if you can see behind me here. Wow. But this is an amazing, um, that's just one window. <laughs> and it's... I, I, I know. How, how, um, how high are the ceilings there? Oh, yeah, 80 feet or more, you know. So uh, very, very impressive. And... Um, uh, this building was, um, during that time, where we are in this part of the building, was a classroom where they'd get together and teach and talk about um, anthropology and uh, skeletal uh, animals, um, 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 you know, um, 
torsos and bodies and uh, parts and things about animals and uh, identifying them and classifying their bones and etc and dinosaurs and stuff so it's really really cool so there's always been this educational learning teaching vibe here um which uh, uh, every time i step in here and, and do workshops and teach you know mediumship from here i always feel supported in some way even yeah. probably from, from many teachers in the past you know um we also have uh uh, uh some very very good yoga teachers here uh, some of the best in, in holland are here um and uh, so we have regular yoga classes um and meditation groups here plus um uh, my partner Breeza does uh, past life therapy and regression work here and the school of regression therapy also work from here too um, that is fascinating. I don't mean to interrupt you, but on. I, I, I experienced that with Brisa, and I, I, I don't think I was ever the same after that. That was incredible. Yeah, she's so it's, it's, she's so gifted. Yeah, yeah, uh, and you know that's another side to, to understanding us ourselves as a spiritual being, and um, um, and uh, it's it's remarkable, really, and how and quite healing in that process too, understanding. Your, your subconsciousness and, uh, you know, thoughts and memories from the past. Uh, so it's brilliant here. Um, so we're very busy um, and there's, we've got workshops on all the time uh, and uh, we're coming into our third year. So we're, um, we're very proud to, to have the space in Holland uh, wow. and to be able to work from here. And this is where, for those who are interested later in the mentorship program, whether in Canada or the U.S., or in Australia or in New Zealand or, or in Europe, I'll, I'll be in here teaching it online. Um, and the videos, it's a 10 week uh, mentorship program and there's a, a video that goes with it and a, um, um, and a, a Zoom uh, follow up uh, online Zoom session with uh, our students um, progressing along each chapter with the book. Um, so it's particularly valuable for those who've got the book already or are looking at it. And because um, lots of people came to me and said, well, I've read it, what, now what, <laughs> you know, what do I do with it? And um, so we thought uh, it'd be wonderful to get people to start working and learning to do mediumship as well. Even even if it's just for a hobby, um, even if, if it's for your own self-development, your own spirituality, or, um, or, you, or you, you're thinking of going into this and, and making a career in, in the future, it's a really good stepping stone to get a good foundation, to be evidential, to, to prove to people their loved ones aren't gone. That's what I'm all about. Um, I want to be able to prove to people that they're not gone. So I think we have a winner. We uh, have a winner? We, we have a winner. Uh, yes. Nikki, Nikki Horton. Hello, Nikki. You, uh, you are the winner of Reese's book how to talk to the dead in 10 easy steps. Uh, she got the answer correct. The awesome, Fox Nikki. sisters. Yes. So can you tell us that story? Yeah, well, this is a very special time, the Hydesville wrappings, okay? Uh, 18, uh, 1848, basically, um, 31st of March. Um, the, the significance of that was highly likely mediumship existed way before then um, and but at that period, the Fox sisters uh, did something very special. They created an alphabetic system and through communicating with a spirit person, they were able to get a response and through taps or, or rappings or knockings, that's why it's called the Hydesville wrappings. And through that, uh, communication was established. So uh, these lovely girls, Kate and Margareta, um, uh, uh, Fox, uh, they basically um, established this communication with a with a spirit person who they named uh, Mr. Splitfoot. But through the alphabetical system, they were able to establish his name, um, uh, Charles B. Rosner, and he was, and then he was able to identify his killer because uh, he was murdered in in uh, in this home, and. Uh, his name was John C. Pedler. Um, and uh, of course, this, there was lots of controversy about the girls and um, in the, over the years, as many stories about them. Um, but uh, it turned out about 100 years later that they did find remains of a body in the building and it turned out to be true. 
you know, so, um, but still to this day, there's lots of controversy around whether they were, you know, fraudulent or not. But the the interesting thing w was that was it created seances and, um, um, uh, and, and, a, and a, the start of that we can communicate with the afterlife. And that's why it's such a significant thing for the, for, for modern um, spiritualism today. That's how it all began publicly, <laughs> right. you know. Uh, so it's an amazing story, and uh, if you ever get a chance to look them up and, and learn and study them, they're fantastic to read. So let's have let's try another trivia question. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you what you're going to get this time because it could be we don't know. We don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be big though. <laughs> okay. You guys ready? I'm going to pop it up. From a spiritual perspective, what did President Abraham Lincoln do often? I'm sure he did a lot of things often, but this is from a spiritual perspective. Let me go to the comments. Yeah, this is fantastic. I know. I guess, um, uh, Veronica, Veronica, does yes. you want Nikki to email me uh, so I can get her details and send her the book? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we will. We will. Yes. We will make good. sure that, good, that good we, we get we get that. Congratulations, yeah. Nikki. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think we have an answer yet. Keep digging. We, we have a, a Mary Ellen said meditated, but that I don't think that's the answer we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> keep keep going. <laughs> All right, yeah, Google. Yeah. Google is your friend. It's kind of close, though, in a way, sort of, kind of. You, you do it before. Yeah. The Abraham Lincoln's got such a great quote. He said, "The best way to predict your future is to create it." Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's fabulous. Um, nope. Uh, Grace Morrison said, "Dreaming of his own death." That is not the answer. We have to, we, we, this is, this is, this is, ah, Lori Vaughn. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. So that's pretty cool, Lori. Guess what you get? A copy of Reese's book. Yay, congratulations. And that is How to Talk to the Dead in 10 Easy Steps. Um, I will personally uh, send out messages to you and we will figure out a way to get this book to you. I guess we will yeah. ship them because they're yes. coming. Well, where are they coming from now? Uh, if, in a, if they're in America, they'll get them via uh, Boston. I've got some there to, uh, to send out so they won't be okay. far away. Okay, that's, yeah. th that's very good. Yeah. Um, all right, so Lori, we are going to get you a book and... Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. I think I think we have I think we have I think we have another question, right? We do. But I guess if anyone's interested in that, he was um Oh uh, yes, you're gonna tell the story and why yeah. are you telling this story? I'm gonna look for the other question. That actually so works out he, great. Hold yeah. on. I Especially. need to talk to my producer Henry. He has not had <laughs> he is not he is, Henry Henry's slacking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> yes, so for those of you who want to know a little bit about, about him, he, um, uh, particularly his wife, um, Mary, she, uh, um, I guess in the Civil War, I mean, at that period, had lost so many men in that period, even uh, over 750,000 uh, people died in, during the Civil War. And I think combined... Um, the Korean War, World War One, and World War Two, the Spanish-American War, the Mexican-American um, War, the um, the Revolutionary War, and the War of eighteen twelve, com all combined were not even close to the um, the people lost in the Civil War. So there was masses amounts of people who passed, and there was no dog tags for the soldiers or anything. So they they just never come home, and no one knew where they were or if they did die. So seances became a huge thing. Um, they they estimated at the time around eight million people in America were open or 
uh, understanding of seances at that time uh, to try to connect to their loved ones who'd gone. Um, and of course, the Lincoln family had lots of tragedy. Three out of four of their children had, had died. Um, and of course, uh, himself, Lincoln. Um, and uh, But his wife was very prolific in having seances. She particularly wanted to connect to uh, two of their sons they lost. And of course, this also brought in um, um, uh, Lincoln into it as well. And there's many stories around his assassination, assassination that um, uh, a man who we would deal with who claimed to be a psychic uh, was linked to his assassin. Um, and there's debates about whether they were both involved or whether they colluded or not. But his, um, uh, and that's, uh, uh, his name's Charles, I've got it written down here actually, because uh, I keep forgetting it, Charles Col Colchester. He often had, you know, basically said uh, to uh, Lincoln that he or predicted and gave him um, uh, spiritual advice you know, privately within the White House as well. Um, but it's there's lots of controversy that he was linked to the man who ultimately uh, uh, assassinated him. So it's quite fascinating. There's uh, some really good books you can also check out about Lincoln, Psychic Life of Lincoln, I think it's called. Um, uh, it's highly, if you're interested in that kind of thing, it's a brilliant read. So, Thank you. Yeah. I think we have one more question. And this is for a Skype reading. Cool. With free Reed. reading. Look out. Uh, free reading. <laughs> this, is, this is big, guys. I'm going to pop it up here. <sighs> I'm nervous. Ready? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is famous for writing Sherlock Holmes. What else is he known for? Particularly spiritual, I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Go Google, go Google. I know, I know. I'm nervous. I know the answer. But I didn't I know the answer. I had to look it up. This is I a see. tough one. Yeah, and I, yeah. I see Mary Ellen's comment. I always wanted to be an anthropologist. It's awesome, isn't it? Uh, it's something that fascinated me too. And I think if I was going to do something different again and start all over, I'd, I'd like to do forensics, I think. It's fascinating oh, getting in there yeah. and finding that detail. <laughs> that makes total sense, right? <laughs> I love your comments, though, Mary. <laughs> I know. They're so, I'm so happy that people are watching. And, yeah. Um, yeah, the studio looks incredible though, Reese. I, I can see it from here. I cannot wait to um, get to Holland and visit you guys Yeah, soon. you're welcome. Yeah, and you know, when things change, you know, we'd love to have even um, more students from overseas come and visit and do workshops here. So um, yeah, when, when the time comes, well, it'll happen. Okay, so Grace Morrison, that is... Did you see that comment? That's actually not what we're looking for. It's pretty, is it right. close? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I mean, he's a brilliant man. He's done so much. Is that is that a good enough answer? It's pretty good so far. Should I know, but that's not the answer we were looking for. <laughs> but it's it's really close. <laughs> it's really, really close. So Reese, while while we're waiting for the answer, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the events that uh, are going on with you? Up, 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 what is this? Mm. What what <laughs> are you reading this from Grace? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Grace Grace is on it. She's all over it here, Grace is. I know, I I that it, it that's not exactly what we're looking for it's still pretty it's, good though. i know i know i'm feeling like she's putting in all this effort <laughs> <laughs> i i think if she puts one more response that she should get it uh, okay that's what i think too <laughs> anyway why don't you uh, keep looking grace um why don't you tell us uh <laughs> um okay why don't you tell us about some of the events that you have coming up? Yes. So um, if anyone, uh, I've got a workshop um, um, coming up on, um, uh, well, well, basically I'll break it down into two parts here. The US and Canada mentorship program is actually starting um, uh, this weekend. 
and it goes for 10 weeks. Um, if those are if those of you have, uh, have the book, it's a good platform to then go into the mentorship program if you really want to really develop and learn it uh, with me. Mm-hmm. Um, if you don't have the book, you can still do it. Uh, but if you've got the book as well, it's it's advantageous because you can even do it chapter by chapter as you progress. Um, so in the US and Canada, uh, it's $29 weekly for 10 weeks. Um, it starts on October 4th and then the 11th, 18th and the 25th and then into November, the 1st, 8th, 15th, 22nd and 29th for 10 weeks. So once it starts, it starts every weekend. It'll be on a Sunday. Um, and uh, uh, I will also, at the end of this, I'll just put up um, a, a, a quick link to the website uh, uh, you can go to. And then in, um, for Australia and New Zealand, it starts on the 13th of October. So there's still another week or so um, uh, before that, that kicks off. Uh, 13th of October, the 20th and 27th. Um, and it's also the 3rd, the 10th, 17th. 24th of November and into December the 1st, 8th and 15th. But that, um, and that's for um, uh, $39 uh, dollars. Um, uh, on the website it'll say 39 each, but in American dollars it's actually less. So, so uh, if we go to reesewindavies.com, you have all your events listed there, there that you can yeah. sign up for, right? Yeah. And so, Reese um, Davies, the mentorship. Uh, so if you go to the mentorship bar and click on that, mm-hmm. it'll take you to either option. And you can yep. register. If you uh, look on the bottom, I've got on the little ticker there, I have the website, reesewindavies.com. You can go there. You can also go there and um, sign up for um, his classes. And also if you want a Skype reading, I feel like these two girls, Grace and Mary Ellen, they're... they're <laughs> What I what what should we do? Yeah. Oh, I, this is yeah. This is really cool. <laughs> so this is really it, cool. So I think those two, they've been they've been working hard. What do you what do you say? Yeah, they definitely have. Um, they the uh, Grace has some great stuff here. Oh, the, the thing I was looking for was that Sir Arthur Conan will after between the First World War, a lot of depression and. And, and many, many men and women had died. So he went on a pilgrimage and he went to over 14 different countries, particularly even Australia and New Zealand, and he established um, spiritual churches. And one of the churches that I started in was the Brisbane Spiritualist Church. And he um, and he had laid the foundation for that in, I think, 1903 or four. And... Um, there's lots of pictures of him, and I just thought this is so cool because this is a man who's known for other things like Sherlock Holmes, and yet he, uh, uh, you know, in the time when um, other re- religions were at the forefront, uh, he was steadfast in his belief and, and and went out against all odds to to make this happen and create these beautiful spiritual churches we have today. I think it's just brilliant, and he um, is also the honorary um, president in the um, uh, Hall of Fame for Spiritualism, in particularly in Europe. He's uh, it's called the St. Paul of Spiritualism. So he's... Which, uh, that was the answer specifically that we were looking yeah. for, but he's done so many things, and these girls yeah. both worked really hard. What do you say? Should we, should we give them both one? Yeah, why not? Because why not? Like, all right. So both Grace and Mary Ellen, you are each going to get a Skype reading with Reese because you work so hard to try yeah. to get the answer. So yeah. yay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give it to, I mean, they, they, yeah, of course. Yeah, congratulations, you two. You're yeah. All... And I will, um, I will message you um, a messenger and I will, yeah. So Grace said it's similar yeah. to the spiritual church in Onset. Yeah. 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 He's, he's been around the world, this man. He's fantastic. Right. So, uh, yeah. Well done to both of you. I look forward to our session. I know. Yep. So I'll get in touch with you there. So, Reese, um, I, I think we've probably mm, 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're going to probably wrap it up and, uh, is there anything else you want to say to our viewers? 
Yeah, no, I'm just thanking them and uh, for being with us tonight. Um, I hope they've enjoyed it and got something from it. Um, and uh, I'm really grateful to you, Veronica, for being such a great advocate, um, for not only for me, but to, you know, f to make this possible. Um, it's just about sharing knowledge and uh, you know, being the truth about it and being honest. And I think um, for anyone who is ever interested in or, or searching, you know, I, I really encourage you to make sure you have a, a, a session with someone who's at least trying to be evidential, trying to prove to you that their loved ones aren't gone. They're not going to always get everything right. Um, I'm definitely not always going to get everything right. But uh, I'll do my, my hardest to, to try to get there for you. Um, and because um, that's what matters, you know, our, the, the role of a medium is to try and make you walk away thinking at least giving you one piece of evidence where you might think, well, is that, how, how's that possible? Maybe we don't die and maybe there's more to this life and maybe I need to, you know, explore more or find out more for myself and, and get more answers. And I always encourage people, you know, you know your people. So, and remember, it's mind-to-mind -mind communication. It's 100% uh, intelligence here. Uh, thought is superior to language and spirit. So test it get your own proof um, if you in your mind uh, uh, nominate some things to the specific people who you've lost you know you might say dad I want two black feathers from you I want to hear you're my brown-eyed girl on the radio twice in one day um, when I see two blue and black butterflies I know it's you and if I see the numbers 333 then I know it's you dad or uh, it's going to be 555 for you mom or two white feathers with two black tips and so and give them time to manifest that for you and uh, I have no doubt at some point in your life to come you you would get some response because they're 100 percent intelligent and they they've not gone they simply change form and I I just want everyone to have this experience you know so thank you for your time and um, I look forward to either seeing you on the mentorship program um, or um, if you ever get a chance and you want a session with me, um, jump on and, and see us here. Um, there's also a, a special code, uh, Veronica, I don't know if you want to share that with them tonight as well, if they want a discount for a reading. Yes, I've got it up here on the banner. It's uh, use the code VMedia and receive $10 off your online psychic reading, uh, reading with Reese. If you look on the ticker on the bottom, it's reesewindavies.com. You can go to that website and there should be a link to a reading and a place to put the code. Yes? Yes. If they just go to the, uh, book, if they go to online Skype session, click on the calendar, pick a day, enter the code, uh, then you'll get also the, the, the discount there. So um, I hope I'm, I can help you. Yes, Reese. thank you so much. Um, it's just wonderful seeing you. This is how we see each other now, right? <laughs> so uh, for a while, a, for a while, I know, but um, hopefully soon we will get you back here and we will reserve resume our tour. But Absolutely. in the meantime, we're so yeah. blessed that we have this technology that we can feel like we're we're still we're we're still able to see each other, you know? Yeah. And, you know, everyone out there, just hang in there. You know, we send yeah. love and healing to all of you and um, and send that out to the universe and for a, for a change in the way things are headed. Um, uh, the, the conscious mind collectively can, can move mountains. So um, put it out there for a change in the world and, uh, and it will come. All right. Thank you, Reese. Thank Take you. Care. All the best, everybody. Yep. And thank you all for tuning in. We're going to do this broadcast on a regular basis. I'm again, as I said, I'm going to have uh, guests, um, our clients, as well as industry experts in marketing and the entertainment business to help you either with your business or your life or whatever. But we're just going to see where we go with this. And um, I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, Reese. Thank and you. Have Thank a you good so night. Much. Yeah, all the best, everybody. Uh huh. Bye. Okay, bye.